Hello guys and welcome again to the channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you actually a couple of tips on how to get rid of the noise that you get through the FPV goggles when you're flying. Uh, it just happened to me. Uh, it has happened to me before, but on this time it actually happened to me on uh, on the Acrobat, which usually is a pretty solid build and uh, it usually doesn't get any noise on it. But this time I went to fly and I actually couldn't fly it. It was it was really bad. It was uh, actually worse than what you see on the thumbnail of this video. Uh, when I got home, I started troubleshooting everything and I'm gonna show you everything that I did in order to actually cancel all that noise and what worked for me and what didn't work for me. Stay tuned, the video is coming up. We're gonna hit the bench and I'm gonna show you in the bench everything that I did to this little guy in order to actually get the noise out. So. Let's go to the bench. Okay guys, so like I was telling you, I was getting a lot of noise with this guy yesterday when I went to fly and it was literally unflyable. So um, I had to get home and actually start troubleshooting to see why I was getting so much noise. And I actually, uh, the way that I did this was actually troubleshooting it from the outside to the inside. And I started with everything that I could fix on the outside first. Um, some of the things that I did on the outside did work. Some of the things that I did on the outside didn't do anything. Like for example, I changed the antenna to a different antenna. This didn't do anything. I changed the propellers. That actually helped a little bit, but not that much. Then I self-mounted the ESCs. The way that I did that is I put a piece of double-sided tape under the ESC and I put a little bit of tape around it. This tape is very loose, so there is compression. This actually did help. So I did have some vibration coming from some of the motors here, and I'm guessing the motor that is giving me the most problem is actually this one. Uh, the other thing that I did was I uh, resoldered all the wires again. This also helped a little bit on the, on the interference that I was getting. After I did all that, I went to the inside where I have to disassemble the whole top part of the quad and I, I went right into the inside of the quad. One of the things that I was having, one of the worst parts was actually back here. Um, the cables for the battery were actually separated uh, from the power distribution board. It was, uh, it was a, a connection like on the top and then the cover of the cable here was actually uh, separated from the power distribution board and they were like kind of like peeling away the, the little cable so I actually cleaned those connections and I put them all the way through I made new connections put them through and now they're going through the distribution board and there is no no problem with the connection here the other thing that I did is I created a new cable for the uh, VTX to go from the VTX to the flight controller with new cables this cable is new this cable before it was going between the power cables the positive and the negative and i decided to go ahead and bring it around uh, and this actually helped a little bit on on the on the signal so i always try to keep it as as away from those wires as i can okay and i stay within the within the frame so this these two things actually help a lot too the other thing that actually helped me a lot that I, I had done it this way because I have heard so many times that whenever you use uh, rubber washers that you have to have everything loose so the rubber washer can actually do what it's supposed to do. So I had this uh, loose, like l very loose. You could actually move the flight controller back and forward with, with your finger. And um, I decided to go ahead and actually tie everything up. So I have a uh, rubber washer here. I have two here. The opposite of this one is here, plus one. Then I have uh, one more here under the flight controller. And I actually tied this up and I made them uh, squeeze the rubber uh, washer a little bit. And this actually took care of most of the vibration. So I know it's a vibration that is coming from probably the engines coming into into the uh, into the quadcopter and as as it was at that point I could literally just fly it without any problem I was 
pretty good. I will say that it was 95% of the noise was already done and clean, but I decided to go ahead and actually try one last thing. And the last thing that I tried was actually try to change the frequency on this uh, VTX. And as soon as I did that, I can tell you that the whole thing was like completely clear. Now I have literally no noise. That's basically all that I did on this quad. I haven't put the wires, like some people put some kind of hot glue to the wires so they can stay in place and they don't, you know, if vibration comes, the, the wires don't amplify the vibration. I didn't do not on that at this moment because at this moment it's flying perfectly. It's not giving me any noise, it's not giving me any interference. So I have it, you know, flying like it was flying when it was new, so I just left it like that. Those are the steps that I took uh, to actually cancel the noise out of the whole quadcopter. Um, some of them may work for you, some of them may not. Uh, but if you're having problems with noise, give them a try. Put in a capacitor at the power uh, on the power lines could be another thing that could help you. Uh, so hopefully, you know, with all the tips that I have given you, uh, you could go ahead and troubleshoot and fix the noise that you're getting on your quad if you're getting any. Uh, let me know uh, on the comment section what is that you did to fix the noise on your quad and how did that actually uh, improve the quality of the picture when you were flying uh, with the changes that you made. I would really like to hear that from you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And now I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a little bit of flying that I did with this guy after I fix it. So thank you. Have a good day.